Would you please welcome the one person the Prime Minister can't say no to? It's Rhys Nicholson! <laughs> oh, welcome back, Rhys. Now... Who have you got in store for us this week, Reese? Well, Charlie, I'm glad to say I'm not one to rest on my laurels. I absolutely aimed higher. Fantastic. Unfortunately, turns out I have terrible aim. <laughs> <laughs> I have very poor coordination, you know, and I missed my intended target and ended up with some bloke called... Dave Hughes? <laughs> Apparently he's been a regular on the Australian comedy scene for quite some time and owned heaps of houses. I had no idea. I just found out. Enjoy, I guess. <laughs> this is Apparently Your Life. Our guest tonight is a comedian who can do anything, whether it's 5,000-seat theatres or a pub open mic, as long as he's getting paid. It's Dave Hughes. <laughs> Dave Hughes was apparently born in Warrnambool in 1970. In his early years, Dave worked at an abattoir and as a bricklayer, a dishwasher, and then found his true passion, being on the dole. <laughs> Dave Hughes, welcome to This Is Apparently Your Life. Thanks for having me. After seven years on the dole, is it hard to get out of bed every morning without punching a couple cones? Those were the days. I was my own boss. Well, no, I mean, the dole was your boss. Well, yeah, I was looking for supermarket work mainly. What, did you want to be the, the voice of the beep? Beep, uh, beep, beep. Beep. <clears throat> you worked in a range of odd jobs, including an abattoir. That must have been fun. What's your favourite part about working on an abattoir? Uh, when the other workers would throw awful at me. Well, that must have been awful. <laughs> we'll put laughs under there. Now, tell me, early in your career, you did a gig on ABC's Recovery. Our fridge stopped working for six months at one point. Well, it didn't keep anything cold, but the light still came on. We thought it's all right. It'll trick the food. <laughs> Is it that sort of laugh that made you addicted to stand-up comedy? It was possibly the worst experience of my life, and thanks for reminding me of it. Really? That's interesting, because it says he, uh, some of your early work was on Hey Hey It's Saturday. <laughs> what do you think made you stand out from the other ten straight white male comedians called Dave? Talent. Did the shame of being on the dole for so long prepare you for being a judge on The Masked Singer? I'm a guesser. No, you've got to get it right. We don't judge anyone. I reckon people are judging well, you. They for can being judge on the me, but I'm not judging me. That's life, man. You deal with it. Speaking of dealing with it, you own multiple properties. Do you think you retain the every man quality by buying every man's house? <laughs> What's it like being Australia's slumlord of comedy? Mate, I have got some comedians living in some of my flats and you know what? They're late with the rent. Do you make them write jokes for you? I don't, no. I write all my own material. And some may say that's my problem. Mm. Mm. You've quit drinking, you've mm. quit drugs, mm. you quit eating meat, you quit porn, yep. watching porn, not yes. doing porn. No. <laughs> I don't want to think about that. Oh, a full you know he has, you know he has. Orgy. You know Just he like has. Everywhere everyone finishes, you're like, oh, good on you. No, nah, good on you. You've been a good crowd. <laughs> Uh, you've replaced all of them with a crippling Red Bull addiction. I'm actually easing back on the Red Bull, to be honest, and, yeah, so I, not many teeth left. When I was on the project, mate, and Charlie would know, I would lose one or two teeth a week, just spit them out on the desk. <laughs> We've got a voice from your past, so let's see if you can guess who it is. To be honest, Dave didn't treat me very well, and in the end, I fell apart. Yep, that's right. It's your missing teeth. <laughs> <laughs> teeth do you reckon you've lost over the years? Um, kill for some teeth to look like that. Uh, I've lost ten, but it replaced one, so I'm, I'm nine down. Well, I look forward to hearing a true crime podcast about your mouth. <laughs> we'll put laughs under that. Well, Husey, I think we've really seen the man behind the Bogan stage character and discovered maybe it's not a character at all. <laughs> Thanks for being a part of This Is Apparently Your Life. Do I get to keep this? You do! This is apparently your life. <laughs>